Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the Adversary Emulation series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Fin6 emulation plan. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, we're getting into the practical stuff now. And uh, in order to go through um, the actual process of uh, emulating an Adversary or APT group, we're going to need to do this stuff uh, practically. And in order to do that, we're going to need to set up an environment. Luckily for you guys, or luckily for myself, uh, this is something that I've already done in, you know, sort of in anticipation for this series. Um, and I've set up the labs that we'll be using, not just for Fin6, but also APT29 on the Cyber Rangers platform, which I introduced to you guys, um, you know, I think last year. So, um, and also in a video this year, when we're taking a look at some red team tradecraft around the Apache uh, rootkit. So, uh, the link to the Cyber Rangers platform will be in the description section. It's absolutely free to uh, use or, you know, you can register an account for free. Just navigate to app.cyberrangers.com. Uh, once you've created an account and signed in, you want to head over to the community slash free section. And here you'll have the Red Team Tradecraft playlist that uh, has the scenario I covered in one of the, the previous videos, uh, not related to what we're doing here directly. Uh, but more importantly, we have this one right over here um, called Mitre Attack Defender Adversary Emulation Fundamentals. So in the description section, I'll paste a link to this particular playlist. Again, this, you know, it's completely free and I'll show you what it's based on. Um, and we're going to start off with Lab 1.1, which is, you know, pretty much covers the, the actual Fin6 emulation plan. Now, this... Uh, these set of labs are um, actually based on, you know, directly based on the MITRE ATT&CK de uh, Defender or, you know, MITRE ATT&CK uh, Defender or MITRE Ingenuity team um, and the work they did here. So this is the GitHub repo that those that these labs are based on. Um, and what we've essentially done, what I've done is I've sort of converted them and put them as labs that you can now access and follow along with uh, with me and, you know, the rest of the videos on the Cyber Rangers platform. So you don't have to go through this setup because, you know, you do need to set up an Active Directory environment and stuff like this. So this is what it's based off. Now, um, as I mentioned, Lab 1.1, and I'll go ahead and start it here, is uh, essentially focused on the uh, the threat emulation plan for fin6 and this is where the um, center for threat informed defense repository comes into play where within this repo again this will be linked in the description section um, you know within this repo you're going to have a set of emulation plans for different apt groups or uh, thread groups like fin6 fin7 apt29 um, and you know you know you may be asking yourself well what exactly is this repo about well this is an open library of adversary emulation plans designed to empower organizations to test their defenses based on real world ttps so in the previous video we we actually went through the process of creating a plan but now you're going to see what the plan what a real world um adversary emulation plan looks like and as i said we're focusing on fin6 in the next video we'll actually be getting started practically using the lab environment on cyber ranges um you know by gaining initial access and stuff like this so right over here the lab on cyber ranges you can see it sort of uh, walks you through uh, navigating the you know adversary emulation library repo and uh, you know going through it understanding what it's all about and then fin6 and I'll, I'll now walk you through exactly what a plan or you know what the emulation plan looks like uh, what um, what emulation plan we will be using because uh, you can have you know different types of plans depending on the TTPs you're looking to emulate and you can actually familiarize yourself with a lab environment where you're going to have a Kali Linux system here that you can access uh, you know in your browser right over here and uh, you can also access um, there's you know the Windows target which is um, is actually a uh, domain controller but here's the Kali system and then if you access the um, the Windows system right over here, which is running Windows Server 2019. Um, you can just access it right over here on the Guacamole dashboard. So Win Server RDP. The credentials are listed in the drop down under services right over here. 
and uh, you can see you have access to the Windows system and you probably want to give this a few seconds when you initially boot up to you know just uh, wait for the group policy client. In any case, you can familiarize yourself with the lab environment beforehand uh, because in the next video we'll sort of be moving quite rapidly or we'll be you know diving straight into the initial access uh, phase. So that begs the question, well, what's the emulation plan? Well, right over here in the Center for Threat Informed Defense repo under the Adversary Emulation Library under FIN6, we have a set of files. Now, um, this is a phenomenal repository if you want to get an understanding of, um, you know, not just what adversary, um, what adversary emulation entails, but what a real uh, plan looks like. So, as you can see, I'll just briefly describe a couple of key sections. Uh, this repository contains a, an adversary emulation plan for FIN6. This is the first adversary emulation plan in a library pub, pub, you know, that was published by the Center for Threat Informed Defense in cooperation with our participants. And you can take a look at the blog uh, or you know, the actual release there. Um, so as we saw in the previous video, FIN6 um, is thought to be a financially motivated cybercrime group. The group has massively targeted and compromised high volume point of sale systems in the hospitality and retail sectors at least since at least 2015. Uh, FIN6 has targeted e-commerce sites and multinational organizations. Most of the group's targets have been located in the United States and Europe, but include companies in Australia, Canada, Spain, India, Kazakhstan, Serbia, and China. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go through FIN6, because, you know, they've, they've sort of targeted organizations in quite a few countries. And also, um, you know, th their primary objective is not really an APT group, but their primary objective, as their name suggests, is, um, you know, they're, they're financially motivated, right? Now, this intelligence summary, by the way, that's how the repo is sorted. Um, there's also a table of contents, but this intelligence summary uh, or this intelligence summary summarizes 15 publicly available sources uh, to describe FIN6, their motivations, objectives, and observed target industries. It further describes the typical FIN6 operational flow or attack kill chain, along with their publicly attributed TTPs mapped to the attack framework. Um, in reviewing the plan, you may notice TTPs that do not currently map to the attack framework's FIN6 group profile. Uh, this information has been provided to the attack team for analysis and potential incorporation. So, you know, quite an important point there. Whatever you find on the attack website may not be, you know, uh, what is 100% known about the group. And, you know, that's why you should always go through multiple CTI reports or you should expand your cyber threat intelligence uh, to different sources so that you get a comprehensive sort of holistic view, right, of the group that you are seeking to emulate. Now, this is um, this is one of the important uh, sections here. So the operation flow chains techniques together into a logical order. Remember what I mentioned in the previous video um, of the major steps that commonly occur across FIN6 operations. In, case, in the case of FIN6, we describe the operations in two major phases. Phase one, uh, the primary focus of this phase is initial access and placement within the target environment and exfiltrating uh, relevant data identified during this phase. So, you know, for example, text files uh, resulting from discovery and credentials. This is what we're going to be emulating in the next video, uh, or I'll break it up into smaller parts, but we also have phase two. This phase consists of specific uh, objectives or effects of the operation. Um, the actual operation. So, you know, the, this particular repo provides three potential options for specific objectives based on historical FIN6 operations. The FIN6 emulation plan is a human readable step-by-step command-by-command implementation of FIN6 TTPs. Structurally, the plan is organized into two phases as described or defined in the operations flow. The human readable plan is accompanied by a machine readable plan implemented in YAML. The YAML includes all steps, commands, and syntax for both phase one and phase two. The YAML template was nuanced um, to ensure that each step within the YAML is directly coupled with its equivalent in the human readable version. So table of contents, you have the intelligence summary, which is what you'd get, you know, from basic CTI, where you learn about, you know, the other names of the group, uh, the attack group ID, as we did in the previous video, the objectives and evolution, which is actually quite important. So what have they been doing since they initially came onto the stage? So 2018, 2019, 
target industries right over here, quite important. And then operations, this is sort of what I want to focus on. Um, so you can see they've been known to obtain initial access to target organizations by using legitimate but compromised credentials. And then they have the link to the technique here or sub technique coupled with legitimate remote access applications and spear phishing. Most recently, FinSix may have been purchasing access to environments that have been previously compromised with TrickBot. References to that have been added. So, you know, extremely well defined, uh, you know, I'm speaking uh, specifically about this um, adverse emulation plan. And then once inside the target organization, FinSix uses a variety of open and closed source red team tools, custom scripts, and commodity malware in support of tactical objectives. Um, and you can go through this, uh, it's quite an, um, an excellent breakdown. They also have the software that they use, uh, which is very important because again, if you're going to emulate a particular group or adversary, you need to be able to have access to the tools that they've been known to use. Now you don't need to, you, you know, you, you don't need to be, it doesn't need to be a one-to-one -one match where you use, you know, Cobalt Strike and Metasploit. Uh, but you know, for example, if you don't have access to Cobalt Strike, you, you know, you should be okay with Metasploit. Um, and then right over here, you have ransomware. You probably are not going to do that on a production environment for a client. So, you know, you, you need to, you need to be very nuanced here. Mimikatz. Okay. There we are. And you can see some of the other tools that they've used, um, you know, PSXX, stuff like this. What you can tell is that they sort of utilize or are very good at, um, you know, um, at utilizing native or, you know, tools that uh, are not really uh, categorized as malicious, I should say, you know, for discovery and local enumeration, stuff like this. And, you know, you can see there's also other malware that are, that is specific to point of sale systems. So, you know, um, the, the important thing or what I'm trying to highlight here is you start off with understanding what TTPs you know, have been attributed to this particular adversary and then the software that they use. And then based on that, you then develop the plan, you know, based on what you have access to in terms of tooling and malware, what the client has requested or what restrictions they've essentially put in place, etc. And over here you have the references. So, you know, might attack Fin6, um, the report we saw in the previous video by CrowdStrike. Uh, I think we also took a look at Follow the Money, which was by FireEye. Um, and then we didn't take a look at Pick6, but this is very good because I've gone through this before. Uh, but this is essentially, as the, the title suggests, intercepting a FIN6 intrusion where you can, you know, I think, yeah, we actually did take a look at it. So this will give you a very good idea of the IOCs um, and, you know, what, um, th there we are. So we, uh, under IOCs, you have the, the IPs, uh, the networks, uh, domains, the files they've been known to create when exfiltrating, which we'll actually do ourselves. So uh, that'll be quite fun. And uh, yeah, so... That's the intelligence summary. If we take a step back and we go here to the table of contents, we then have the emulation plan, um, which, uh, you know, is fairly simple to understand. But uh, we then have we, we have the infrastructure where you know, it's, it's essentially a breakdown of uh, the tools. So, you know, as, as it says here, the following represents a bare minimum, but should be uh, operational uh, operationally representative of Fin6's infrastructure and tool set. And in terms of, you know, command and control service, it's sort of sorted now in a way that you can understand. You have Metasploit. Um, and then, you know, in terms of Cobalt Strike, they usually have one team server and one redirector. For exfiltration, um, you know, phase one, they use SSH. Um, phase two, you know, P POS exfiltration, they utilize DNS. So, you know, something like DNS cat, I think. There we are, yeah. And then uh, phase two, e-commerce exfiltration, they utilize, uh, let's see, what do they utilize for this? So just Python, the Python HTTP server. So there we are. Um, now, uh, there's, you know, some very important stuff here, but uh, if we go back to the emulation plan and we'll, we'll be exploring this in the next video, you know, because that's when it'll become relevant. We are going to be emulating phase one primarily because phase two, you know, we don't really have access to any POS um, or stuff like this. What we're going to be doing is initial access, um, you know, by again, very, very basic. We'll start off uh, simple and then move on to the advanced ones. Like when we'll be taking a look at APT29 and we'll be creating our own, you know, payload, the uh, stager loader, etc. 
Uh, but the key focus is going to be on discovery where, you know, we'll be emulating, you know, Active Directory uh, specific discovery techniques and or sub techniques and then exfiltration. So this is what we're going to be emulating and we'll also be doing privilege escalation, all of that good stuff. Um, but the bottom line is that the objective of this video or this lab is to familiarize yourself firstly with the lab environment. So the system you have access to and then uh, obviously the the actual emulation plan which i will link in the description section so you you know you can uh, you can get started with that uh i would highly recommend you wait before jumping to the next lab um because there's a few things i want to point out now uh, to test whether you've gone through the threat intelligence or the intelligence summary please take a look at the questions and we can go through a couple of them i'll not go through the ctid specific questions but you know the ones on intelligence so they're very, very good questions here, like, uh, you know, based on the Fin6 intelligence summary, what is Fin6's primary objective? So, mm, hmm, let's see, could this be the correct answer? Uh, yes, okay, let's take a look at the next one. So, based on fin, the, fin the Fin6 intelligence summary, what TTPs has Fin6 used for initial access? Choose all that apply. So, it's very important that you go through it because, uh, again, when we get started with the practical stuff, I'm going to assume you know where we are in terms of the, t the TTPs we're emulating. So, I'm not going to refer back to the plan. Uh, I will, you know, to a certain extent, but uh, you need to understand exactly what uh, TTP we're emulating um, and, uh, you know, what tool we're using, so on and so forth. But uh, you can you know, you can go through these questions. I don't want to answer all of them for you. Um, and uh, yeah, so you also have the ransomware tactics. So if you go through the, um, um, <laughs> if you go through the intelligence summary and, you know, the adversary emulation plan in general, then you should be able to answer these questions. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Just wanted to give you a bit of a tease as to what to expect. Uh, just familiarize yourself with the, the server section of the labs. And then um, in the next video, we'll be going back uh or i should say yeah in the next video specifically we'll be getting started with uh, lab 1.3 which is now going to be focused on emulating fin6 so we'll we'll go through initial access uh discovery privilege escalation all the way to exfiltration and i think i'll break it down into smaller shorter videos so that i sort of highlight each phase of the attack life cycle in its own video so as to not confuse you but that being said, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section. If you have any feedback, you know, you can share it in the comment section as well. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video.